And the Burnsville community is also honoring the sacrifice of the two police officers killed yesterday. Pafua Yang is live at Burnsville City Hall tonight. And Pafua, can you describe what you're hearing from people there tonight? Yeah, it's certainly very emotional, as Eric was saying. A lot of people taking a knee, praying, very emotional, just a moment of silence, a lot of tears here as this, this memorial continues to grow. Well, today we heard from a high school principal who says that he knew one of those fallen officers since that officer was just a young boy. I see broken hearts. <laughs> I thought of the lives of <laughs> those poor families that were victimized with that news yesterday. A community united in grief. Flowers stacked high, honoring these three heroes, including 27-year-old Paul Elmstrand. Paul sadly died doing what he felt like he was called to do. Steve Gibbs taught fourth grade and was the assistant principal in middle school where Elmstrand attended. Ever since I knew him in fourth grade, he was just a just had a kind heart um, and he lived to serve and that was who he he was from his young age. Elmstrand joined the Burnsville police in August 2017 as a community service officer before becoming a police officer two years later. According to the University of Northwestern alumni Facebook page, Elmstrand is survived by his wife, his two-year-old girl and five-month-old boy. Fallen officer Matthew Ruge, also 27, joined the force in April 2020 and was part of the crisis negotiation team. Ruge graduated from the law enforcement program at Minnesota State University, Mankato. In a statement, the university president extended his sympathies, saying, we must remember that even in dark times, our community is strong and resilient. We have to hold each other up and we have to love and just just believe that things will be better. Now today, a first responder organization called Frontline Foundation announced that they would be donating $60,000 to the families uh, that lost their loved ones. In Burnsville, Pafu Yang, 5 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Pafu. The city of Burnsville tells us a third police officer who was also injured yesterday has now been released from the hospital. Sergeant Adam Medlicott will finish his recovery at home.